Peggy, 18. So the soldier is a heavy weapon class. So this is a class where you want to take a claymore, you want to take a revenant, you want to bring all the biggest heavy weapons to bear. So you're sitting mid-range, just popping shots down the field, putting damage on everything. I love the rage passive on the Krogan soldier, being able to charge and take an Atlas head on, charging, headbutting, opening everything up, causing the biggest amount of damage. Just being able to be a Krogan in the Mass Effect universe is amazing. So the Adept is your traditional crowd control biotic class. Uh, what makes him interesting in Mass Effect 3 is we've added a lot more biotic combinations. So you can combo, for example, Singularity with Shockwave or Warp with Throw. So that gives him kind of a, a new uh, type of gameplay where he can deal with those bigger enemies by doing biotic combos and doing high damage on the bigger guys. Well, the engineer is all about that heavy hitting damage power, like overload, incinerate. A really popular build with the Solarian engineer is a sniper rifle, because you sit back, you launch your decoy out, take enemy fire off you, and then you just snipe and then use your powers from a distance. My favorite ability would probably be overload, just because it's got that really nice uh, branching in the uh, evolution tree. You can either spec it to be like big crowd control, it's got like the chain overloads, so you can hit three guys, or you can spec it to be really powerful against shields, so you can hit that one atlas with like a ton of bricks. The Sentinel is a jack of all trades. He basically can take any role on the battlefield, which is really cool. So it depends on your play style. Do you like that movement, versatility, or do you want to be the toughest guy on the battlefield? You decide. So the way I like to build a Sentinel, especially the Turian Sentinel, which is one of my favorite classes in multiplayer, is overload warp and heavy fitness. So you can deal with armor, barrier, and shields, which most classes cannot deal with. So I've seen fully level maxed sentinels take down atlases by themselves because of the warp throw combos. So don't give up on them, they're actually a very powerful class. The infiltrator in multiplayer is a great class, great team class, because you can just do all the objectives. You can cloak while you're disarming a bomb, you can cloak while you're resing a friend, you can get away easily. Well, other than the sniper rifle, which is an obvious choice, the infiltrator is really good with a shotgun because he can cloak and get right up close to an enemy. There's a little trick with cloak. You get a huge damage bonus to your melee, your guns, and your powers, but when you decloak, that bonus sticks around for a couple seconds, so pound into the guy with anything you need. So the Vanguard is the in-your-face class. Most vanguards will be charging in with shotguns, novas, and just taking everything on the battlefield head on. The thing to remember with the vanguard though is that you're a single target killer, but you can also use nova to crowd control, which is a great tool to get out of situations. There are enemies on the battlefield that will give the vanguard a lot of trouble, like guardians for example. Getting through their shields can be a big pain, so if you're playing multiplayer or single player, you want to have a good team composition that can back you up and keep you as effective as possible. Charge, shotgun, Nova, get out of there. It's the best way. Run and gun. 